The Bear and the Travelers Two travelers were on the road together when a bear suddenly appeared on the scene. Before he observed them, one made for a tree at the side of the road and climbed up into the branches and hid there. The other was not so nimble as his companion, and, as he could not escape, he threw himself on the ground and pretended to be dead. The bear came up and sniffed all around him, but he kept perfectly still and held his breath, for they say that a bear will not touch a dead body. The bear took him for a corpse and went away. When the coast was clear, the traveler in the tree came down and asked the other what it was the bear had whispered to him when he put his mouth to his ear. The other replied, He told me never again to travel with a friend who deserts you at the first sign of danger. The Oak and the Reeds An oak that grew on the bank of a river was uprooted by a severe gale of wind and thrown across the stream. It fell among some reeds growing by the water and said to them, how is it that you, who are so frail and slender, have managed to weather the storm, whereas I, with all my strength, have been torn up by the roots and hurled into the river? Well, you are stubborn, came the reply, and fought against the storm, which proved stronger than you. But we bow and yield to every breeze, and thus the gale passed harmlessly over our heads. The Shepherd's Boy and the Wolf A shepherd's boy was tending his flock near a village and thought it would be great fun to hoax the villagers by pretending that a wolf was attacking the sheep. So he shouted out, Wolf! Wolf! And when the people came running up, he laughed at them for their pains. He did this more than once, and every time the villagers found that they had been hoaxed, for there was no wolf at all. At last a wolf really did come, and the boy cried, Wolf! Wolf! as loud as he could. But the people were so used to hearing him call that they took notice of his cries for help. And so the wolf had its own way, and killed off sheep after sheep at his leisure. The Fox and the Goat A fox fell into a well and was unable to get out again. By and by a thirsty goat came by, and seeing the fox in the well, asked him if the water was good. Good, said the fox, it's the best water I've ever tasted in my life. Come down and try it yourself. The goat thought of nothing but the prospect of quenching his thirst, and jumped in at once. When he had enough to drink, he looked about, like the fox, for some way of getting out, but he could find none. Presently the fox said, I have an idea. You stand on your hind legs and plant your forelegs firmly against the side of the well, and then I'll climb on your back, and from there, stepping on your horns, I can get out. And when I'm out, I'll help you out too. The goat did as he was requested, and the fox climbed onto his backs and so out of the well, and then he coolly walked away. The goat called loudly after him and reminded him of his promise to help him out, but the fox merely turned and said, If you had had as much sense in your head as you have hair in your beard, you wouldn't have gotten into the well without making certain that you could get out again.